Hey everyone, welcome back, and we're here in our Minecraft world with our house over here, and this episode we're going to be continuing the little uh, woodcutter shack that we started last episode. So, I'm still debating what kind of design I want to do for it. But I think I'm probably going to try uh, something a little, uh, little different than expected. So, still going to be a shack though, not really like an actual house. So, I'm just going to go and I'm going to, I think I'm going to keep with the stone. I do not want this up here anymore. Did I put stone in the furnace last episode? Let's check. Because if I did, that's going to be really helpful. Yes, I did. I did indeed. Ah. Let's pull all that out then. Although, I need to go store some miscellaneous items up and over here. So we're going to drop in, let's go plant these spruce saplings actually, that'll free some space up. There we go. A little bit of space freed up. And some trees planted is always good to have. Let's um let's go and store some of this excess stuff that we don't need. Like the rails. We don't need all of these torches, but I may as well just keep them in the inventory. We don't need the carpet. We don't need the gunpowder. Um we don't need the bones. Hmm. I don't think we need the dirt, but I could use it eventually, so I'll keep it in there just in case. That actually leaves a decent amount of spaces for us to utilize. So, I'm still a little uh, confused. Not really confused, actually. Just um, trying to picture this in my head for what it's going to look like when um, when it's all said and done. Because there's a lot of uh, ideas that I kind of have floating around my head but I want to make sure that it's done properly so that way I'm not wasting time like in the previous episodes so although kind of looking at it I think I actually have it, an okay idea that I might want to try to implement but I'm not entirely sure so I might actually make it a little hut, but I think I'm going to change the way I'm doing some of it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up this uh, slab layer right here. And I might actually end up putting wood right here. So... But that should be the last time that I uh, attempt to replace the items that are on the floor. This is a waste of diamond pick. Alright, and then I'm going to place down... I no longer want this up there. So, instead, this is probably actually going to turn out to be like a real, um, like house house and not a, um, not only a house house, but it'll be like a, a shelter, like an actual shelter. And then I want to do, um, 
these posts right here. I'm gonna have to dig around this, aren't I? Like that. And let's go make a couple more fence posts. Probably three, I'd say. So two more, but that's not really an option. <sighs> there we go. Okay, let's try that again. So we're going to place that there, that there, and then we're going to use the spruce slabs that I've collected. And place one there. Place one there. So I'll finish that later when I have the house more constructed. So but I want to remove this one and place a real block right there. So I might actually take a different route with this one and make it a little more simplistic with cobblestone. But I'm not sure about that idea. So I'm going to toy with that for now and see where it leads me. So we're going to do cobblestone. And I think I'm going to do something really different with this house and actually have it be... Although I don't know how the door is going to work for that, though. Um... Yeah, the door won't work if I do it that way. Unless I do... Yeah, I need to lower the ground by one. So I'll have to clear this area out and replace it with the wood uh, flooring. I should probably build a new shovel just in case that one breaks. Well, not just in case, it's going to break. There is no way it can last another, another two blocks without breaking. There is just no way. There we go. Yep, two blocks. That should be good. Um, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that we have slabs and then just utilize the uh, half of the wood I need to fill this area up. So let's go, let's go uh, chop down some more spruce trees in a couple seconds here. So we're going to go cut down this tree. And that should be a perfect amount for now. Let's uh, convert that real fast. And I'm going to pull the crafting table out of this, out of the house, and move it out there. OK, 
because I don't want to spend any more wood on a new crafting table. But I also don't want to keep dragging it back and forth. Or uh, keep moving back and forth. So, just gonna pull it out. So, and I need to connect the, uh, what did I do over there? I did stone that just goes straight back to wood for some reason. So I guess I'll have to continue that trend unless I want to change it. So the doors will go there. And to emphasize the poverty of this kind of shack, we're going to just do that there. And then smooth stone. See here, here, um, here, here, and then we'll do cobblestone. Right here, like that. This just needs to be straight cobblestone all the way through. Or actually no. So wood block there, wood block there, wood block there, wood there. So the reason why I'm not um, indenting with the uh, the log pillars like I did for the other house is because um, I don't know. Uh, I was going to, but. I kind of wanted more space for the actual house, so I might still pull the, the wood uh, pillars out one block, but for now, I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay, that's a lie. I can't stand it when it's like that. So, just simply because... I need that little extra definition. We're gonna pull the wood pillars out by one block. And in the process, I actually gain a little bit of a solid, um, like just uh, like an additional block just because of the way I built it previously. So, I mean, that's nice. Let's go and get some um, some plain glass, some glass pane, and we'll uh, place it down for the windows. And then let's go and place down our. Uh, window borders right there and let's uh let's see i think it's dark enough to go to bed so let's go do that real fast we'll uh migrate up the stairs and into the bed of this house I don't think I need to grab that other stone quite yet, but if I do, it's there. I'm not really liking the design of this so far, but I'm going to stick with it just, just to get out of the way, I guess. Maybe it'll turn out good. Who knows? Um, then I'm going to see that'll actually end up being a full block, so I need to do 
this and break that and do this then we'll just extend that and of course it run out Ugh. okay I need to go craft a new axe okay yeah I really do not like the way that's turning out so far um how can I fix that maybe by Hold on, I almost dropped that there. Um, no, that wouldn't work. I wonder what would happen if I like... Definitely not, no, that's, that's a big no. Huh, I don't know, I'm missing something though. Maybe I'm just like too focused on that house over there because um, I'm trying to like, I don't know, I'm kind of like caught between trying to replicate that aesthetic and trying to also have its own unique one. I think that's what's throwing me off is uh, kind of that like mixed, mixed kind of bag thing where it's like I'm trying to get both in one, but it's not possible. So, um, now oh, my throat's kind of dry. Because I'm trying to like think about what I could do for uh, this part here. It just doesn't like quite fit with the way I'm wanting it to go. It's like it's missing something, but I don't know what. I mean, hmm. Um, maybe it needs to be like more, um, It's like a I think it's the cobblestone and the uh, the the mix with the wood because over here we have something that's actually quite modern with the uh, the stone bricks and the uh, the windows but over here it just doesn't like work with the aesthetic so, I'm going to go and I'm going to remove all the, uh, I'm going to keep the stone because I like the stone where it is. The stone's fine. Not the, uh, the cobblestone, the actual stone stone. Um, instead of doing, um, cobble, I'm going to do something else. So, we're going to have to see how that turns out, though, because I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, to be honest. So, let's tear this down for, again, this is like a really common theme, is uh, tearing things apart and rebuilding it until it works and looks just fine. So... Thankfully, this isn't nearly as big as the other one, so it should be pretty quick once I have a decent design idea. So I definitely don't want to do logs like the other one has, because that's a lot of logs that I used in that one. Whew. 
Let's see. Although maybe because it's the woodcutter, I should be using a lot more logs. Like, what if I did... I'm going to go get a lot more logs. Like, a lot more. And then see what I can come up with. So more uh, cutting down trees and more wandering about and trying to figure out what's the best plan of action for me to take. What if I do followed by with there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Maybe, but I think that is right on the right track. So let's go cut this down here. How do I get the multi-block? Is that even possible? To get the multi-sided log, or is that only a creative mode thing? Whatever, doesn't matter. I'll replace these ending caps here with its own little thing. So we'll have that continue on to here. And then we'll get stone caps. That's not half bad. That's not half bad. So then over here, because the way this is set up here, we need to do and I don't know what we're gonna do here because I need something to break up the monotony. So I might do um, another inner, like an inner pillar, like what I do over here, I have the inner pillar, so I'll do two inner pillars, should probably re start replanting, and let's go cut some more trees down. of what is needed. Lots and lots and lots and lots. Thankfully, I planted a bunch of trees before I started. That was pretty lucky. So... Just to make sure that I don't kill out the entire spruce tree population, I need to make sure that I'm consistently replanting. So in about, I don't know, two, like a minute from now, I'm going to head back out here and see if there's any more uh, saplings on the ground for me to pick up. So let's, uh, let's go and add these other logs right here. And then we'll um, do this here, like that. And then this one is going to have to go all the way there with another cap. But at the same time, it's like there's really no point in doing a cap or like stopping it because of the way this is set up. So I may not even need to do it that way. So we'll see. Let's 
let's uh, real fast just check for saplings. There's one. So far, it looks like there's only one. Let's plant it. Two. And that's all we got. Let's head back and get some sleep. I really wish I didn't convert all of my uh, oak wood to uh, spruce log. Because that would be really helpful to have. So, let's see. How does it look from over here? Does that work? No, it does not. Okay, so right here, because of the way this is set up, I don't think we actually need to do uh, these uh, pillars. This can probably just be a regular part of the house with no additional uh, problems. So let's just go and fill this back in right here. And then we'll clear out Now comes a weird, interesting part with the windows. So, let's go get the, uh, the stone foundation done first and then we'll worry about it. So, oh, another tree to cut down. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not the best, but it's, you know, better than what I was first going to do. All right, now we need the uh, the top line up, up there. So. Oh, more saplings. more saplings, right? <sighs> this top layer is going to be a little weird, but we'll figure it out. Ah, my throat's really dry right now. That's great. I don't have any water. Ah, this sucks. All right, and one last connection point. There we go. And probably some torches should be added just so that way it's not a uh, mob little uh, spawn point. So, and got like weird little hiccups going on right now and it sucks. Perfect, it's like a secondary design just without the, uh, the fun stuff.
And then up here, we're going to do that. And we're actually going to have it kind of flow a little bit higher. So. Like that. And then let's see. Let's worry about this layer before we start worry, worrying about that. So I could do a stone brick layer to finish it off, or I could do a smooth stone layer. So I think I'm going to sample both. So we're going to try doing that on this side and then that on that side. Neither of them. Well, also you wouldn't see that because there'd be a layer of a, uh, wood covering it so I think it should be a little warmer in on the inside like not like uh, heat wise but like color wise so I might need to do some uh, wood styling I'm wondering if the effect that I need can be accomplished with just regular planks nope that doesn't work because of the floor. It also needs to look good as the cap for the windows. So, I might just need to cut down a ton of spruce trees and call it good. Oh cool, more saplings. I'll take those. And that's those need to grow. So got a little bit of progress going on. Um, let's uh, get some food in our stomach here. I'm gonna try a screenshot from this angle and see how that looks. Let's see. Um, I definitely need more decorations. But let's try that. And then I'm going to do the classic one that I almost always do every couple episodes where I go from the top here. Hmm. I already did one of these like a couple episodes ago, so maybe I shouldn't do it. Um do it from there but like maybe like from this tree up I'll like parkour up here and then nah I'm out over here I guess I don't know I kind of want to like make it a little interesting and inviting so hmm Maybe I can do like an internal screenshot and see what I can pull off. Nope. Yeah, I'll probably just stick with the one that we took over there recently. So, the, this one, we did that. So, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed me tearing apart and rebuilding the cabin three times. Not cabin, uh, woodcutter shack like three times. Uh, <laughs> so, thank you for watching. And if you want to see more episodes or would like to check out what else I have, see the description for the links. We've got Subnautica, Kingdoms and Castles, and Astroneer currently active. Oh, and Skyrim. Can't forget Skyrim. And if you would like, I can continue doing No Man's Sky if you have a request for that. But until then, thank you for watching and have a fantastic night.